Alright guys, so I apologize for the very long overdue episode 2 of the Ones Who Live review. Now, I just want to start off by saying, I am sorry. Feels like every other week I'm apologizing. But this is for something very minor. Um, it's just because I reacted to episode 2 and I posted my reactions, but I was very out of it. I was complaining about such little things. I clearly wasn't interested at all. And I said that I didn't like the episode at all. You know, half of it is my thoughts and half of it is I was just in a terrible mood that day. And you know, I, I was just late to the episode. I really didn't even want to watch it. I was just like in a bad mood and I had to get it done for content. So I was almost watching it as like a tally just to get it down. And you know, that makes me sad because Walking Dead never really used to be like that for me. So I hope it's not like that again. But let's talk about my real thoughts for this episode. And I am going to be serious here. I don't think this episode was that good. And a lot of people think I'm very crazy for that. Now, I haven't re-watched it. Um, I was considering doing that before making this video, but you know, I said, hey, let's, let's just get this done. So first things first, this is a Michonne-focused episode. You know, it's great. I got to see Michonne. But one thing that I was very nitpicky about was how it said six years after the bridge, but then it showed Michonne talking to these people that happened way after six years because we know that the six-year time skip was after Rick blew up the bridge till 9x6? But she was around till 10x13 of The Walking Dead. W w that doesn't make any sense. And I was really calling that out, but everyone's like, bro, it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but also the whole point of my videos is I talk about things I notice. If there's something I don't really, like some people don't really notice, but I do, I'll call it out. Now it could be as minor as, oh, it's not actually been six years, it's probably been eight years, then I'll call that out. But this episode gave off such Fear the Walking Dead vibes. As soon as this, uh, uh as, um, I already forgot their names. The, the character that King Batch plays and his girlfriend, I don't, I don't remember their names, and Nat showed up, I'm like, how much do you want to bet? They're going to have a ton of screen time this episode. They're going to have some redemption where, like, they help Michonne. And then they're gonna die. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happens in Fear the Walking Dead. A new characters introduced for a singular episode. They, you know, they just become some little device to do some cringe thing and then they die. So Michonne is like going out to fight this horde and then all of a sudden last minute, uh, King Batch and, you know, Nat and everyone just saves him. Like, we decided we don't want to be afraid anymore. What are you guys <laughs> doing here? Well, we didn't want to be afraid and stupid anymore. I don't know. That just, uh, dude, I'm sick of that. I don't like that at all. You see, Okafor is how you write a good one episode character. I mean, dude, you could not have expected his death coming and it didn't feel like they were trying to show him a lot of screen time until, oh, cause he's gonna die soon. No, it didn't feel like that. And that's how you're supposed to do it. I would say Nat was a little bit better though. And I think Nat was a pretty good character, but still like, I mean, dude, I, I, I wasn't falling for the tricks on this episode. And a part of it is because I did kind of have it spoiled for me. I did know that like Nat dies, you know, from early on, but I hadn't watched the episode, but you know, it's just all very predictable. I mean, I don't know how they expected me to be sad when um, Michelle and found both King Batch and his girlfriend dead. Was I supposed to be sad? Because I wasn't. Uh, it, it, it's very predictable. Very, um... Here, here, here's the best way of saying it. Michonne arrives at this place, community, they're all thriving for years, but all of a sudden Michonne comes in. We're all gonna go with Michonne. Why? The, like, all of a sudden Nat, uh, King Batch, all of them love Michonne. For what? There's, there, I mean, what? She saved two of their people, but that doesn't mean you just immediately go follow her and risk your lives for her and do a death march for her. And so it's basically main character arrives, everyone dies. All it takes is Michonne arriving there, everyone's dead. And the same thing happened with the Daryl Dixon spinoff. Whenever he arrived at the nun's palace, they all died. Which I'm trying to remember how that happened. Oh no, that actually makes a lot more sense though, because it did start from Codron's brother dying. See, that makes sense, right? Codron's brother was killed and that girl lied about Daryl doing it. So then they showed up and killed all the nuns. That makes sense. But it doesn't make sense for Michonne to show up in some community and then they all start to trust her and they die for her, right? It, it, I don't understand. Like I'm trying to tell people, telling people that and they're like, dude, like this episode was great. But if I do look past that, which is so hard for me to look past that because I'm so sick of it. It happened in Fear the Walking Dead. It happened, it happens all the time in these shows and I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. But you know, the episode was great. I really liked the scene where she saw the safe harbor um, ship and you know, she thought Rick was in the pile of bodies. Denai Guerrero did great there. And I really liked whenever Nat and her were talking there. That was just beautiful. Um, it was a very great scene. The reunion scene between Rick and Michonne, I think it was good, but it still just feels a little off. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be too nitpicky about that one because there's really no 
great way they could do this re reunion after all these years. I mean, anything they do, there's gonna be some people that say, oh, I didn't really like how they did it. I just, I just really don't like the luck of it, how it happened, but that's just me. Yeah, and then she gets into the CRM, and then him and Rick, or, or uh, her and Rick are just, you know, they have a little scene where they talk together. And I actually really like this detail. I was kind of pissed that she didn't tell Rick that RJ, you know, she, Rick has a son, but it makes sense because if Rick knew he had a son, he would probably do something stupid to try and get out and get them out and then, you know, get them stuck for longer. And I read this comment that was actually very uh, interesting. It said, it's very selfish of Rick. So as soon as he reunited with Michonne, it's very selfish of him to say, let's go back to the CRM together. Instead, he should have said, get out of here. Um, you're not, if you come here, you are not getting out of here because he's been gone for 10 years, right? So it's very selfish for him to bring Michonne in there and risk his and Michonne's life because he knows that Jadis is there. Instead, he should have used seeing Michonne again as his motivation to finally get out, which makes a lot of sense. It really does. But obviously, you know, we're, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, like, as I was saying about Jadis, of course she does hear about it and... Yeah, and that's gonna be an issue. That is gonna be an issue, and I, I don't really understand why Rick did that. He also should have told Michonne that Jadis is the whole reason that I've been stuck here. Right off the bat, just say, hey, by the way, Jadis is the whole reason I've been gone all this time, and she's at the place that I'm at. You should not come, otherwise we're both not getting out of there. But, you know, hey, um, whatever. Also, another thing is I really like the CGI in this show. You can easily tell that like all the scenes whenever they're looking at all the helicopters on the ground are CGI. I mean, it's, it's like you can tell, but it's not like it doesn't take you out of it. It's like, it's really impressive. It all looks very nice, man. And I, I just really like how this show feels. But I don't know, I'm part of this very small minority that did not like this episode that much. And you know, it, it sucks because I think a lot of people, a lot of people were angry at me like that I didn't like it. And it kind of makes me sad because I also try to be honest. I don't want to just be someone who's like, oh yeah, The Walking Dead is the best thing ever. I love The Walking Dead. Go watch it. I want to be honest with you guys. And so for me to not like this episode and everyone's like, bro, what? Like, like you're tripping. I mean, I guess they have a point. I mean, a majority do like it. It's like a 9 out of 10 on IMDb. I think it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's higher than the first episode, which baffles me. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it's, it's what, it's what it is. And that's the, the other thing is that the trailer for the third episode didn't look that good to me. Yeah. Okay, listen, I, I can't be saying that yet, but yeah, it, it, it's a uh, whole lot of stuff, but uh, I can make a video about that for the third trailer. We could, we could talk about that, but um, yeah, those are my real raw thoughts, guys. I honestly just, I think the episode was okay. I liked the character Nat, um, but I did see his death coming from the instant he walked into that room. Anytime a new character appears on screen, they say more than three lines, they're dead. They're dead in the same episode. No more than 30 minutes are gonna be dead. But yeah, that, that's that's uh, that's that's what we're at right now. So yeah, let me know if you guys do want a review of like the episode three trailer. We can do some examination, some uh, you know, some deep looks at it, and try and decipher what's going on in the next episode. But yeah, other than that, guys, um, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. And I'm um, I'm sorry for like the lack of content lately. I've just been really burnt out of The Walking Dead. And yeah, man, I don't know. I I guess I'm very very in a different position right now from everyone else because they really liked this episode and I didn't and I I'm trying to figure out why I don't know why but yeah all right well yeah hope you guys have a great day